Well, I'm going to Asia, uh, Hong Kong, Shanghai and Tokyo over the next week. And what do you hope to achieve? Well, I'm, I'm selling the Sunshine Coast uh, like nobody else can. Um, and it's a great product to sell. But what we're after primarily is investment in our major capital projects. So that includes the airport and obviously the new CBD. Uh, and I think it's important to remember that there are 94,000 uh, students on the Sunshine Coast from prep through to um, mature age students studying at university. They all want a job. I'd like to be able to give them that opportunity here on the Sunshine Coast. Um, fortunately, they don't all need a job next year, but progressively they will. And uh, it's going to be investments in uh, the health, medical and wellbeing sector at uh, Kiwana, into our education and research sector. Uh, at, but specifically from an infrastructure point of view, that'll be driven by development around the hospital, the creation of our new CBD and the expansion of our airport. And we need funding, and I'm happy to, to see that as international funding, to help us get those projects up and running. Asia. Um, and Asian leaders regard the position of mayor uh, as being an extremely important position because you are the representative, in my case, of the 30, 300,000 people on the Sunshine Coast. Um, and that does create a lot of very uh, significant opportunities for us to talk to major investment companies, um, uh, extremely wealthy private individuals, uh, as well as governments in, in Asia. Uh, and. Uh, since uh, our last couple of visits to Asia, we've certainly generated some interest. Uh, all good sales take time and uh, this is a process that we need to continue for us to bear the real benefits for it, from it. Uh, there are uh, follow-ups with potential uh, previous investors we've spoken to, yes, but also I've not been to Shanghai before, uh, which really is the sort of capital of Chinese uh, uh, investment uh, action. And of course, uh, I haven't been to Tokyo before either. And uh, the Japanese in the past have been extremely um, significant investors in uh, Australia. And uh, I think that opportunity exists again.